Hello stalkers, I'm Catherine Decina Saplin and today we are tasting Belgium. And it's chocolate, yay! And if that's not enough of a reason to eat chocolate, then it be like gourmet, high quality Belgian chocolate, then know that when you buy this chocolate, you're supporting the seahorse project. So when you eat this chocolate, you save seahorses and the sea. So these little chocolates are amazing. First of all, they're all in the shape of a little shell. And this is a praline, which was invented in Belgium. And this particular praline is really interesting because it is made up of white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate, all of which has been marbleized to look like this awesomeness. And in the middle is a hazelnut filling. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I wasn't going to eat this because I am not a white chocolate fan. And then I tried this and it was like, it, it, it was bliss. And I was like, I need to show you guys this chocolate because it really, it's, it's just, it's so good. So smaklek. Mm, it really is, it's so good. That right there is the chocolate filling. You can see the chocolate around it. And even when you look up the ingredients, it is actually really high quality chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. There are moments when like my life is just like so happy and I'm just like, I can't believe this is my life, but honest to God, this this is good chocolate. Like if you're on a diet and you're going to cheat. Don't cheat on crappy stuff, cheat on gourmet stuff because it's, it's, it's worth it. Oh my goodness. All right, so one of the things that I found surprising about this chocolate, which is to die for, it is delicious. Like I'm probably gonna have to have another piece because it is that good. It is five star chocolate, guys. But you can get this at the grocery store. And when my husband got it, I was thinking, oh, it can't be that good. I mean, sure, it says artisanal Belgian chocolates on the cover, but you know, it can't be that good. But the interesting thing about Belgian chocolate that I recently discovered is that the government actually has purity laws on Belgian chocolate. So what that means is that if you want to make chocolate and call it Belgian chocolate, it has to match a minimum amount of ingredients set by the government. I don't know why, but it's shocking that I could find this in the grocery store because I really thought that in order to get high quality Belgian chocolate, you would need to go to an actual chocolate store. I'm gonna have another one. Yeah, cause it's, 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 it's good. It's just, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this one. Look at this little shell. Looky, they're all little shells and they're just, they're so adorable. I see that it's like, eat me. It's like, I will chocolate. Mm, they're so good. Also, on a side note, one of the reasons why I like this chocolate is because it doesn't taste like Nutella. For anybody who's actually had like hazelnut spread that is actually made out of hazelnuts, then you'll know that like Nutella doesn't taste like hazelnut spread because it's just, it's sugar and it's oil. It's not hazelnuts at all. And what happens with praline sometimes is that you get them and they taste exactly like Nutella and that's because it really isn't made with hazelnuts, it's just, it's oil and sugar. Just, just go get Belgian chocolate because it's amazing guys. Like that, that's the point of this video and so that I could eat chocolate. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you would like more Tasting Belgium, check out my playlist. If you're new and you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know the second my videos come out, be sure to ring the bell for notifications. All my links are in the description below and you should consider checking out my blog and stalking me on Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tootsies, my applesies. But one of the dishes that are really popular in Belgium are mussels. And this one right here is a mussel. So there's this part of me that wonders like, is this theme because that's like sort of a national dish. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Here's a seahorse.